Okay, first and foremost, let's just explain what these videos are supposed to be about. They are inspired, and I'll be quite honest about this straight up front, by this chap here, Cheerful Pessimist, who's been doing a series of videos on his channel. Most of them going around at how fruit machines were played by professionals, how he used to do these machines back in the day. I do recommend his channel. Just search for Cheerful Pessimist on uh, YouTube. He's doing all right. He's, he's got a good number of subscribers. Videos are good. He clearly knows his stuff. He was obviously a, a pro player back in the day. Um, you know, from, from the very early days by the sounds of it, because he's talking about some pretty old machines. So my videos are going to be along the same lines as, as his, in that I'm going to be playing machines in the emulator and talking about them. So that, that begs the immediate question, well, if, if he's already done it and he's done it first, why are you doing exactly the same thing? Well, it's not going to be quite the same, because in many cases, these are going to be how fruit machines were filled up by clueless bastards who had no idea whatsoever because that's what i was right from when i started playing fruit machines in the uh in, in anger when i first started going to the pub in about 1990 um the four pound 80 token jackpot through the six pound token jackpot eight pound token jackpot 10 pound all cash 15 pound all cash i was absolutely clueless i lost my shirt time and time and time again with the benefit of hindsight mr pessimist here was probably coming behind me hoovering all the cash up so i'm going to be coming even though it's the same kind of video i'm going to be coming at it from a different angle which is how these machines felt like when you had no idea what you were doing and, and you would just be mystified that you know machines with, with such small jackpots could take so much money off you and be so dead and it turns out that the answer was that pretty much most machines were doable in some way or another so so that's going to be the difference between uh, my channel or, or what i'm doing on this on, on my channel with these videos and what cheerful pessimist is doing but i do recommend his videos they're, they're very entertaining but i'm going to start with a machine which he's covered on his channel and this is one that i never did for real oh incidentally i did start to get a little bit of a clue towards the back end of the 15 pound era uh, which was nothing more sophisticated than learning how to force bar crests. And then through the £25, £35, £70 era, I've had a bit more of an idea. I've, I've never been a, a pro or anything like that, but I have been able to make a chunk of what I last uh, lost back in the day. Now, you can see here that Cheerful Pessimist has done a video on this machine, but... I don't think he quite told the whole story because even though this machine had the, this incredible trick on it, it's still possible to lose money on it once it gets into a bad enough state. So do watch that video on Cheerful Pessimist channel there. But in essence, basically on the feature, when you're on the feature and you land on the question mark, and if you can believe this, all you need to do is hold down the deal or no deal button there and press collect at the same time. Oh, that's, sorry, there's collect. Hold down that, press collect, and it will give you the deal or no deal feature instead of uh, having to collect whatever awful value you're being offered there or take a mystery and have it kill you. Uh, one of the things that I've done with this layout is I've removed the mirror effect from this reel here, from the uh, deal or no deal reel box. So we can always see what's in the box. And the interesting thing about this for me is this, you can come up to this machine, know what you're doing, and yet still lose. So just for reference, if you look at these stats up here. This is running at 98%. It's well over target. It's at 84% uh, is, is its target. It's running at 98.3% and it's in a bad mood. It doesn't like it. So let's put a tenor in. Uh, let's just turn that down so the emulator's not too loud. Put it on 50p a go. And what we'll do is just get going. Now, what the interesting thing about this for me, uh, this, this machine for me, is that it, it's how it will protect itself. So you'd think that this would be an empty. You'd think that if all you had to do was get on the feature and then every time you hit a question mark, you can take the deal or no deal game. How can you possibly lose? Well... I'll show you how, because there are several things it can do to protect itself. Now, I should say that I never played one of these for real. I do remember there being a bit of a kerfuffle about them, being a little bit of a chat about around them. But I never saw one uh, in my area, so I never pursued it. I never kind of asked around to see if I could find out what the deal was with it. 
So one thing that you'll see, so there we are. That's taken quite a few quid just to get a win. And it does, so that's what it can do. They're the first two things it can do. It can take 10 to 15 pounds to get a win. And then even when you've got a win, you've got to win a turbo gamble to exchange the feature. And it can just not do that. So now we're on the feature. But then there's one other thing that it can do once you're on the feature. So you think, okay, I'm, I'm bound to get the deal or no deal game here because I'm going to land on a question mark eventually. Well, no, because it's got this game over square up here, which it can and will use when it wants to. So let's have a look what that does now. So a one would just kill me out right here. Let's see if it does it. And there you are. So that is, I'm... Basically, that's 14 quid. That's 15 quid now. So that's 15 quid. As you can see, I've managed to get on the... I've managed to get on the feature once. And it killed me by using the game over square. So, this to me... Maybe I'm mistaken, but this to me doesn't seem like it's a full empty. Because if the machine gets battered, battered enough, it will start to defend itself using those, those three techniques. It will make it expensive to get a win it will lose the turbo gamble and it will also then even once once you get a win and you win a turbo gamble and you exchange to the board it can then just use that game over square there to kill you so you can see here now i'm 25 pound in i've had one feature that used the game over square to kill me and i imagine that this is the kind of state that it could get into in the wild if it was being hammered by you know pro players all the time so let's see there it's still losing the turbo gamble down back in now we're up now we're on the feature i suspect it'll probably actually let me get the deal or no deal game now because it has just caught a little bit of cash back let's see if it uses the game over square though no so okay we we, we will hopefully be all right my my oh 10 pound shot so yeah we'll, we'll we'll be landing on a question mark here taxi there we are so so from a taxi we can land on that and now all you have to do hold down the deal or no deal button deal or no. press collect and you get a deal or no deal Your game uh, that you're not mirror. supposed to get now obviously because i've taken the mirrored reel out here you can see no deal. He wants i mean i could deal there on nine quid but no if it goes down to a finish six pounds I'm, I'm really just hoping for a finish with that 35 oh no 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 obviously I, i've just got to hope it keeps that 35 pound box there which it has so there we are now because i know it's 20p in the box uh obviously i'll deal oh how do you feel but bear in mind i'm still down i'm still down here and this this basically you've seen the whole thing here because th this is the state that it will get to And I, th I think it would be possible to lose on this machine. What I have done on it is also uh, just if you munt about 50 quid, 60 quid through as, as if as if you didn't know what you're doing, you, you didn't know the trick and you, and you lose a chunk of cash, it will get back into a happier state. If you look at the state it's in on Cheerful Pessimist's video, it's obviously in a much happier mood. I think uh, he was just playing it as downloaded. And as downloaded, the machine was quite happy and it made it look very, very easy. But when you actually get onto it, when, when you've done it a few times, what you end up with is something a bit more like this, where even knowing the trick and even being able to see... So there we go, that's the uh, trick again. There's a decent box, so we've got a £20 box. So we're probably just going to no deal all the way down here, but... I mean, you can get close, you, you can sort of get your money back or maybe just lose a few quid, but if it's been absolutely trolled repeatedly, you're not going to win on it. Even after this £20 box, I'm still going to be... So obviously we're just going to no deal on that. I'm still going to be, what, about even? If that. So you can see it gives you a huge advantage. I mean, being able to get the deal or no deal game when you're not supposed to, is obviously a massive, massive advantage. And if you came onto this machine and you didn't know about that trick, you would, yeah, you'd be in a world of pain. I dread to think what this was like if, if it was being done by people who knew the trick 
and you came along as just a, you know, a casual play. You didn't know the trick. You were going to absolutely lose your shirt on this. But you can see there, even with that decent uh, deal, and then the no dealing down to the twenty pound box, I'm still four pounds down. And I would guess it's probably going to make it quite hard work now for the next board because I've just had that twenty pound box. Let's just see how how much it costs now to get back on the board. So I did just want to start with this machine because it it was one that from, from watching cheerful pessimist video you'd think that this this was just a full and empty and that, that you couldn't go wrong but and i thought that to start with because the machine had quite a lot of value in it as downloaded i think the guy who made the layout had, had got it into a fairly happy state but once you pin this thing down i don't think anyone was making money off it while it was in this state really you can see it so after that 20 pound box it's cost me it's cost me a tenner to get back on the board so a, I need it to offer me the, the uh, question mark here, and B, I need to be able to get more than a tenner off it. So let's see. Generally speaking, if you get around the board once, yeah, you, you, if you get past the question mark once, you're going to be able to get onto uh, the game over square once. You're going to be able to get onto a question mark, so let's have a look. So we know it's £2 in the box. £10 deal might not be. Let's risk one. Mm, that might be as good as it's going to get. Eleven pound. Yeah, we'll deal on that. Oh, how do you feel? How do you feel, Nil? So, even with all the advantages in the world, there, in that I can see my box and I know the trick, you can see there, I'm still two pound down. So, unless I'm missing something here, this isn't a full empty. If if you listen to the quick description, you know, which is simply every time you land on a question mark on the board, hold down play deal or no deal and then press collect at the same time you get the deal or no deal game you'd think that was some kind of empty but my experience is it can once once it's been hammered enough it can protect itself by making wins really expensive losing the gambles and then just losing that game over square on the board i could be wrong i never played the real one but it just stuck out to me because i thought oh i'm gonna i'm gonna empty this for pretending the emulator and it turned out not working like that uh, next video I'll do will be uh, an older machine and one that I used to get absolutely spanked by back in the day.